What's going on guys? So in this video, I want to show you guys how I was able to connect my Xbox One controller to Linux Mint. Um, I tried looking for videos on how to connect Xbox One controllers and I was honestly just getting frustrated and I couldn't find a simple video um, showing me exactly how to do it without having to install some sort of like drivers from github or anything like that so just um so i want to show you guys a simple way to connect your controller and i can't take all the credit because i did have to you know look through the forums and through discords and stuff like that to find the answer but i'll i'll, I'll show you guys um all that information towards the end but i first want to show you how to actually do the steps so you guys can get you know up and up and going all right guys so i'm on linux mint here and as you can see it's pretty simple i'm also pretty new to linux myself so this is how i have it set up so far so i want to show you guys how i was able to connect my xbox 360 controller so what you first want to do, so as you can see, I have the Xbox uh, controller already connected, but for this example, I'm going to, um, I'm going to remove it and then reconnect it. So I can show you guys exactly how I was able to do it. So what I, what I want to do first is I'm going to turn on my Xbox 360 controller, and then I'm going to put it into pairing mode. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a search here so that, um, so that my device here can, can find it. So the device is right here. I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and trust it as well. So some of you guys are probably at, at this stage here. And this is where I was before where I could connect to it. But the thing is, as soon as I wanted to use it on Steam or with uh, on a, in a game, um, I wouldn't get any any I wouldn't get anything. It just wouldn't work. So essentially, the next thing I, I wanted to do, what you want to do, is you're gonna open up Steam. I'm opening up Steam right here. Let me go ahead and make this full size. And then you want to go up to the corner here, go to settings under controllers. You want to make sure that you have, um, it's called enable steam input for Xbox controllers. So you want to make sure this is turned on. You want to make sure this is turned on. And it also has for Switch Pro controllers, for generic controllers, and for PlayStation controller support. So I went ahead and turned most of these on. And usually when you turn these on, Steam will automatically download the drivers for your, for your Xbox controller. So once you have that turned on, once you have all that turned on, then you want to go ahead and you want to open up your terminal. I have my terminal right here. And let me get you guys the, you know, the prompts that you want to put in here. I, I don't know the command or, or whatever that you want to put in here. So, and I'll leave this in the description for you guys. So you want to put in here, sudo apt install you know, uh, sys, sys, I don't know, whatever this is. Basically you want to have, uh, this, this put in, and then you want to go ahead and put in your password. And essentially what it does is that it'll install this, whatever this is thing. I don't know what it does. I don't know. I'm still pretty new to uh, Linux myself. But essentially, it installs whatever it needs to install here. And then um, you can go ahead and close that out. And close that out. You can also 
I would also recommend you closing out um, Steam as well. You want to close it. And then you want to open it back up again. Just waiting for Steam to open back up again. Okay, there we go. I had to do it again. And then you want to check one more time if your controller. Huh, I'm still getting no controller here. I don't know what's going on. You might have to turn off and on Bluetooth devices. There we go. You just had to turn, you have to turn off and on your Bluetooth and then it'll, it'll pick up your controller here. As you can see in the controller, the controller settings, you want to make sure that it has Xbox one wireless controller. So essentially what you want to do. So these are the steps you want to do. You want to first go to open up steam, go to settings and then go to controller. So Steams settings controller and then you want to turn on the uh, the xbox the input for xbox controllers then after doing that you're going to want to install the um that one command in the prompt and then you want to go to bluetooth after you know you want to go to bluetooth right after turn it off, turn it back on, and then pair your controller to it. And then um, you might need to restart Steam, maybe restart your computer, but you know, right after that, you should be, you should be able to use your controller now with, uh, with Steam. So I also wanna go ahead and bring up here, oops. I want to go ahead and bring up here the Linux Mint Community Discord. This is where I found my my solu the solution to the problem that I had with you know connecting my Xbox 360 controller. So I had to go into Mint Support. I went through all of these, by the way. I went through. I went from small questions to Miss to Linux Support. I ended up going to to Mint Support. And in the search box, I was like, I wonder if I just type into Xbox. So I ended up just typing in Xbox and I ended up finding this. Uh, how do I make this bigger? Okay, well, I ended up finding this. Um, I ended up finding this one here. And essentially, after reading through this a little bit, I ended up finding my solution. I did comment here as well. And this is where I found my solution. This guy right here, his name is Red Star, and uh, his 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 directions really helped me out. Um, so basically, he ended up saying here, you have to go to Steam Settings Controller, enable Steam Input for Controllers, right? It says now Steam auto installs the drivers. So, in my journey of Linux, I've found I've I've found that Steam is your best friend. Steam is literally your best friend. And so he gives the command right here that I'm going to put you guys in the in the uh, description below. And then after that, he says to go into Bluetooth, turn it off and on, press the top button on your controller, basically pair your controller, restart Steam, and you should be good to go. Basically, I ended up following these directions exactly. And... Um, I was able to connect my controller. I went ahead and left a comment and I was like, this helped tremendously. So I just want to shout out Red Star. Uh, he's the one who really helped out. And uh, I want to go ahead and you know put that in the video as well. I cannot take all the credit. You know, I was searching through him and that's what I found. And I want to go ahead and share that with all of you guys. So I hope you found this video helpful. If, um, if you guys have any questions, ask below. I'll be... I'll be around and uh, also check out the Linux Mint community discord. I'll leave uh, a link to their discord as well. Uh, I have my own discord that I have. We do gaming, 
the community gaming um discord so if you guys want to go ahead and join that that'd be cool too and i'll be that'll be fun uh meeting all of you guys thanks